So these climate protests, you've seen them happen all day today. Now, I know that people got very excited because, what you know, depending on who you believe, uh, 50, 60... 70,000 people were at the Domain in Sydney today. Yeah. Well, I should point out that 100,000 people turn up for Carols by Candlelight. Um, <laughs> does anyone get credit on their uni degree for turning up to that? <laughs> um, 100,000 people turn up to <laughs> Tropfest, the short film festival. Does anyone get a special hashtag for that? I'm not pretending it's not substantive. I'm not pretending that there's not a lot of energy about all of this. But those on Twitter who always like to say, everyone believes... Well, unsurprisingly, a country of 25 million people, when well, only 100,000 will turn up in a city with about 6 million people in it. OK, it's a lot of people. Not pretending it's not. But let's also not imagine that it's everyone who marched off the job today. Uh, Troy, what did you think of what happened today? Obviously, even bigger stuff happened in Melbourne. We'll show some people some examples of that in a second. But, look, I get it. It's part of a global movement. It's making news in Australia, uh, in, in America this morning, because, uh, you know, you're before us time-wise. But other than that doesn't move the needle because two blokes who they're trying to talk to, uh, well, they're not going to heed the message if they think there's a message to be heeded at all. Yeah, look, Paul, I don't think this is going to have any impact um, at all. Now, I say that because I, I believe that climate change is important um, and that we need to address it um, on a local, international scale as well. Uh, and I think it's good, good that kids have views on economic, social, environmental issues and they should try to seek to make their voice heard uh, but I did not support this strike. I haven't supported any of the strikes because I believe that if you want to change the world, that's a noble ambition, but you've got to get an education. Um, so these kids should have stayed in school and left, left the political processing for when they get to university or when they go out in, into, into the workforce. Um, the other point I'd make, Paul, is this quickly, is that, is that uh, the whole basis of this campaign in Australia is predicated on the basis that uh, Scott Morrison and Josh Frydenberg and the Morrison government doesn't believe in climate change and aren't doing anything about it. Well, that is a load of absolute rubbish. And this is a government that is spending billions and billions of dollars on climate change programs. They're still part of the Paris Agreement. Um, they've met or exceeded their Kyoto targets. They believe climate change is real and they're addressing it. So um, the whole basis of this campaign, which seems to be to try to wake up the government and make them pay attention, well, they're already doing things on climate change. Now, we can have a debate about whether they've got the right policies or not, um, but, the, but the whole point of the strike, um, I think, was completely misunderstood and unfounded in the attacks on the government. And I say again, those kids should be in school so they get an education and they can change the world uh, once they are educated.